Hello everyone, uh, welcome to RF Board. My name is Dinkar and I welcome you all in this session. I hope everybody is doing great, feeling healthy and fine. Good to see you again on the Mondays evening at 6 p.m. As you all know that uh, normally on Monday we discuss about the basics of economy, a very basics part and uh, not uh, much in technicality because those who are the uh, new uh, aspirants who wanted to take any of the government examination in the near future so they should be aware of the some of the basic things regarding the how the things work throughout the economy so that is why we have started this series just in order to make these people comfortable with the economics okay sometimes whenever the word comes uh, economy in our mind uh, or all the thing technicalities various type of vocabularies uh, difficult words and all these things comes into play but uh, in order to understand all these things first of all we have to start really from the basics okay once the fundamentals are strong automatically you are going to have an edge on the subject right so today the topic uh, that i have selected is of unemployment in india so today we will be talking about the unemployment uh, general employment and then uh, specifically about what happening in our India and what are the futures and what all the things that are there and uh, what are the causes, effects and types of unemployment, how we calculate uh, the unemployment and various other things. So uh, let's start with our session right away and those who are there in the session guys please let me know whether you are there or not because I cannot see anybody uh, in the session if you are there please just let me know that uh, you are there so that i can come to know uh, that uh, uh, people are there if you can just say hi and hello or anything on the chat box so it will be good for me anybody who is there just let me know fine now nah? so we will be just starting with uh, our uh, session okay okay so what is unemployment normally this is a definition that has been there in the ncert books okay this is the definition in the ncert books which is that unemployment exists when a person uh, between the age of 15 to 59 years of age is willing to work at the acceptable wages but he or she cannot find the job such a person is called as unemployed person okay so the forms of unemployment is different in rural and urban areas so it just depends like uh, uh, it, uh, in urban areas the reason can be different what type of unemployment is there in, in the urban areas what type of employment is there in the rural areas that is different so that we will be talking about in the uh, coming slides okay so this is as per our ncrt definition which is a very basic definition that we have right now unemployment is a term referring to individual who are employable and actively seeking a job but they are unable to find a job okay so include in this group are those people in the workforce who are working but do not have a appropriate job that means there are people who are skilled okay here the, here uh, the people are skilled but the wages and the type of job they are working are not matching so that person will be also called as unemployable okay so usually measured by the unemployment rate what is the unemployment rate is there which is divided dividing the number of unemployed people by the total number of people in the workforce okay so it is like uh, unemployment rate is equal to unemployed people people divided by total workforce into 100 right so this is normally a formula hello lalit welcome to the session i was just looking right where I, where is the lalit because uh, you only is the first person from whom i get the good evening 
i think uh, not lots of people are there but uh, the topic is very important for today so you should basically understand the things very simple topic easy to understand and we are not going into the technicalities and all those things okay so unemployment serves as one of the indicator of country economic status okay so if too much of unemployment is there that means the country is not doing in a proper way or running in a proper way because if a country economic status is good and if the company is running in a proper way then unemployment should should be very 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 less okay right now what happens uh, what is happening in ukraine you can call it as ukraine okay there because of the war lot of industries has been destroyed lot of things has been destroyed so there were people thrown out of the work so huge in unemployment is there because people are willing to work but there is no jobs because in order to get the jobs they has to first build the industry right but in the near future ukraine will have too many jobs because the country is totally dismantled and it will be requiring people to work okay then people will be working at very low wages and everything that is the next criteria but that has to be done like that now as per nsso definition that is national sample survey organization defines unemployment employment and unemployment on the following activity status so nsso has taken the definition of employment and unemployment based on the activity status like some people are working okay so these people who are engaged in economic activity we call these people as employed okay those people who are seeking the employment or available for work they are called as unemployed because they are still not getting the work but still they are seeking it and there is a third kind of people who are neither seeking and not available so we are not counting these neither they are employed neither they are unemployed so this is totally out of the context so this is first two only first two are called our labor force okay the first two are only called our labor force that means those who are working and second one is those who are seeking and available for work but the work is not there so they are called as unemployed okay so the first two the first two that is number 1 and number 2 this is called our labor force this is called our labor force whenever we are talking about the labor force this is called labor force and unemployment rate is the percentage of labor force that is without work okay so that means un unemployment rate is unemployed workers divided by total labor force that is 1 plus 2 that means those who are employed and those who are unemployed in 200 so this is the unemployment i hope uh, you get it like uh, how this unemployment rate is calculated whenever we talk about in the indian economy or wherever where whatever context we are talking about this is called as unemployment rate okay now this is the just a general definition of causes of unemployment later on we will be discussing in detail regarding the causes of unemployment okay so unemployment is caused by various reason that comes from both side that is demand side in demand side also or employer and the supply side or the worker okay so demand side reduction may be caused by high interest rate that means whenever there is a demand side reduction that means we do, do, do not want okay because of high interest rate global if global recession is happening so industries will be not producing output so industry will lay off the people right now uh, you have heard that uh uh in covid time in covid time many startups those who were working very good before the uh, pandemic came they were employing thousands of people but when uh, uh, the pandemic came they have laid off uh, thousands of people from their company okay that is called uh, that recession period has come financial crisis has happened and all those things okay during uh, this financial crisis 2008 and 9 what happens is that is only the thing that has happened during that time okay workers has been laid off right 
then from the supply side from supply side is uh, is a place like uh, where the person itself is having a problem okay there can be a frictional unemployment structural employment that we will be discussing in detail like what is frictional what is structural okay now types of unemployment in india first is disguised wherever we go we normally talk about the disguised unemployment first what is that is what is this in the disguised unemployment more people are employed than actually needed that means here we normally take an example of a farm field farm field this farm field requires two person okay with two person efficiently working this farm field can be worked on but if on the same field four people are working so if four people are working that means two extra people are working which are not needed so because of these four people we are not utilizing the efficiency of all the four okay so that is mean this is this is like a disguised employment and it normally happens in the agriculture sector of our country because where we require two person four five ten person are working so all the people are not getting efficiently utilized okay actually the extra two person has to work somewhere else so that the two person can utilize their proper potential on that work but two extra came so all the uh, so if two extra came the efficiency of the all the four got decreased right so normally in the agriculture and the unorganized sector in india this type of unemployment is there and even uh, even in the future also there will be there because uh, we can we don't know what type of things happens in the near future right then comes our seasonal unemployment seasonal employment happens because of the change of the season sometimes they are employed sometimes they are not employed right so it occurs during a certain season okay so as you say that uh, there is a rabi season in our country there we have a kharif season so normally these are the two main season uh, under which crop is sown grown and everything uh, between uh, like rabi and kharif we have a gap of 1 to 2 months like that okay between the sowing and harvesting and all the things okay so this is what one thing i am taking because uh, normally seasonal employment is mostly seen in the agriculture sector okay seasonal employment can be seen in various other industries also but it is not of that huge level which we are seeing in the agriculture okay so agriculture laborer in india are coming under the seasonal employment so those people who are not having fields or all those things they are working in the fields of different people okay so once the season is over they are removed from the job so they are simply sitting at home they are not working once again when the season comes they again get employed okay now start sowing uh, plowing and all those things cutting harvesting okay once all the harvesting done then again you go home and sit there okay so that is called seasonal un unemployment right then come our structural unemployment okay structural that is a mismatch between the jobs available in the market and the skills of the available worker here if you can take like software industry software industry require the person should be uh, good at python okay python that is a, a language okay but the other person knows only java so there is a kind of a available job and the skills okay many people in india do not get job due to the lack of requisite skills this is the major issue major issue in our country which from because of which this much of unemployment is there because if we are able to cater to our skill development if any how we are able to satisfy the skill problem of our country we will be the fastest growing nation in the world we will be the fastest growing because we have the jobs but 
skills are not there even the people who are uh, right now under the graduation course or the post graduation course even the courses which they are doing are not matching with the jobs available even during my time when i uh, came out of the college uh, i got a job in the it industry i was a electrical engineer electronics and electrical but i got a job in the it industry okay because there was a boom at that time because no not many electrical jobs were there there were uh, it boom was there and i have never utilized my engineering skills anywhere and what happens is when you get uh, selected by this company they give you some 2 uh, to 3 months of training 2 to 3 months of training and they just start making you to work okay so if i wanted if i really wanted to do that kind of job so i would have taken that work only right so there is a total skill mismatch between the jobs between the educational institution and the market okay so the market educational skills all have to be matched with the type of a jobs that are getting created and even we have to make our workforce future ready futuristic ready we have to make okay that is why because of that new education policy has come where from the class of 8th only they started uh, teaching uh, the children regarding the various kind of skills okay so that by the time they reaches 9th class 10th class 11th or 12th they are getting skilled in one or the other things okay then comes our cyclical unemployment cyclical okay so it is a result of the business cycle where unemployment rises during the recession and declines with the economic growth that means if the business cycle is running properly then it is not a problem okay business uh, the here rising is happening so economic growth employment okay here maximum employment now if the business is going on recession down 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 then unemployment okay and recession okay so this is kind of cyclical unemployment okay but uh, this cyclical unemployment in india is not that much very high okay normally uh, this type of unemployment is mostly found in the capitalist economies okay then come our technology unemployment technology unemployment what is technological unemployment it is a loss of jobs due to the change in the technology all of us see earlier we were working like some uh, we were working in automotive industry okay everything has to be assembled by hands okay everything has to be assembled by hand so lots of workers lots of workers we were needing all of sudden automation come all of sudden automation comes and there is a sudden change in the technology and people are not aware and we cannot make these people skilled uh, overnight so layoff layoff of the people will happen on because of that unemployment will be created okay so there is a sudden change in the technology and then you are you are not knowing that technology and even automation is there so you do not require that much of people so all of sudden uh, earlier uh, thousands of people were employed now they only need 500 people so there is a sudden loss of 500 uh, employment uh, uh, guess right then comes our frictional unemployment frictional unemployment is also called as search unemployment okay so here what is happening is it refers to the time lag between the job when an individual is searching for a new job or whenever he or she is switching from one job to the other okay so once you are out of college college okay you didn't get placement and it requires 2 to 3 months because you are filling various forms of companies and all those things 2 to 3 months to get a proper job offer so this 2 to 3 months of yours will be called as your frictional unemployment okay 
because you are new and you were searching for the job right and other people who are already in job they resign now they are searching and they got new job during the period of resignation to the searching this is called as frictional okay okay because first one is searching a new job and another one is shifting from a existing job to a new job this inevitable time delay causes a frictional unemployment okay so it is also called as voluntary unemployment because we we myself has taken this kind of employment okay that is also called as voluntary unemployment i hope uh, everybody uh, is getting uh, the proper definition with proper example please let me know in the chat box if uh, everything is clear till now please let me know if everything is clear till now guys okay great now then we have the last one that is vulnerable employment what is this this means people working informally without proper job contracts here in the vulnerable employment people are working informally that means they are working for a company but they do not have a proper job contract with that company okay no proper job contract so no records of these people are you cannot find formally any kind of a record okay because there is no data available you are working for that company uh, but there is no data nothing uh, like in the in the paper you are not existing but still you are working okay so this is the main type of unemployment in our country the reason is that because here you get employed but you get very less salary because company wanted the less salary person with proper educational skills so what they do is they go to the market and they say that we will not give you a proper contract or anything but we will pay you as per the work you have done even you can put over here freelancers okay you can put over here freelancers also okay so this is called vulnerable employment because here we are not getting the data what is there whether they are employed not employed what they are doing what they are not doing and all these things okay now now comes our unemployment trap what is this unemployment trap is about so it is a situation when unemployment benefit discourages the unemployed to go to work that means if you are unemployed the government provide you some benefits so you are so happy with that benefit that you wanted to remain unemployed because here you don't want to work also and you are also getting the benefit also from the government okay so people find the opportunity cost of going to work too high when one can simply enjoy the benefit by doing nothing okay so here uh, the who the people says that if i go to work i have to do this that and this opportunity cost is very high i have to do this that i go to transport take auto take train then again go to office again come back have to prepare lunch and everything okay and if i am staying at home i am filing a form in the government that i am not getting employed anywhere so government will provide unemployment benefit because of that i will be simply sitting at home and i will be getting the money but mostly uh, the good a good thing is about is that this doesn't uh, this this happens normally in the capitalist economy because in the capitalist economy government looks for your employment properly 
because it is i think uh, they take it as a duty of the government to provide the unemployment wherever possible but in india you also get unemployment benefits but it is not of that extent which is provided in the developed countries okay so here people somehow has to go there have to work otherwise you if you wanted to if you like normally people in the poverty in our country gets too much of benefits okay like free ration free things free schooling everything you are getting free of cost even in delhi and now you can see in punjab i think uh, the aam aadmi party government has come so most of the things will be working on the freebies okay but the but the but the concept of freebie is there like uh, you can provide things for free you are making people non competent slowly and slowly people destroy themselves only without uh, for by not working and then you will have a habit of getting everything as a free and then what will happen the, the thing will happen is sri lanka you know what is happening in sri lanka sri lanka is failing who uh, uh, facing huge balance of payment crisis and this balance of payment crisis is happening because of the various internal issues that has happened in sri lanka okay so our uh, current affair uh, teachers will be telling you about this uh, sri lanka issue but normally it has been seen throughout the world is that if you are providing free bees and if you are not making people to work and everything you will be providing free then you are in the huge huge trap that you are sure shot going to get failed some day or the other now india is helping these countries to come out of poverty come out of these uh, issues okay just now india has sent a tanker of diesel india has sent 40000 tons of uh, uh, rice to the sri lanka okay people think that uh, providing freebies winning the elections and all these things will be uh, the things which people will like people will like but you have to look for the economy also right but i am not talking here anything politically okay i am talking about like what is the issue with the freebie okay because this uh, because of this uh, vulnerable employment uh, what we have discussed over here so because of that that thing came into my mind i just wanted to share with all of you okay so now measurement of unemployment normally how we measure the unemployment hello vishwanath uh, welcome to the session okay so national sample survey office this is an organization under the ministry of statistics and program implementation they measure the unemployment in india uh, with three approaches first approach is usual status approach what is this usual status approach is this approach estimate only those person as unemployed who had no gainful work for a major time during the 365 days okay they take a year as a measure and they are checking in a year how maximum number of days that person has no gainful employment the other approach is weekly status approach okay this approach records all those people as unemployed who did not have a gainful work even for a hour or a day in a week okay where the sample they are taking during the survey then there is a daily status approach where we are talking about unemployment status of a person is measured for each day in a reference week okay a person having no gainful work for even one hour in a day that person will be also described as unemployed okay so usual status approach weekly status approach or daily status approach okay these are the measurements of unemployment so what is labor participation rate what is the meaning of labor participation rate labor participation rate defines that section of working population in the economy which is currently employed or seeking employment that is called labor force participation rate those who are employed and those who are seeking employment okay they are all called labor participation rate okay now what are the causes of unemployment 
लॉर्ड्स ऑफ कॉजेज आर देयर फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इंडिया इज अ वेरी लार्ज कंट्री विथ अ वेरी लार्ज पॉपुलेशन उत्तर प्रदेश इज हैविंग द लार्जेस्ट पॉपुलेशन ऑफ अवर कंट्री ओके सो स्किलिंग द पीपल अंडर द एज ग्रुप ऑफ वर्किंग एज इट्स अ डिफिकल्ट टास्क not impossible but it is a difficult task has to be require a very prolonged and proper strategy with day to day monitoring okay then low or no educational level very low educational level even if you get go to the government schools teachers are teaching some teachers are not even teaching some teachers are working in a day high, uh, very hard manner still they were not able to properly teach the people so everything is there okay vocational skills are not good even 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 if you go to private schools and colleges you go the proper education level they are not getting why why we are now having a 3 month certificate course 6 month certificate course 9 month certificate course because the degree course are not working properly okay degree are right now degree has got only that much of uh, importance that uh, the degree is required to give you certain examination they said that if you have a graduation certificate then only you can give that examination you can give sba pu only when you have a graduation you give only rbi when you have a graduation okay like that okay but if we ask that under like if we ask anything regarding whatever they have done in their graduation they will totally went out okay they will not be able to answer in a proper way so that is why uh, the new uh, uh, type of education system that is getting evolved is la skill skill develop skill developing courses are there okay they are giving you three months training on certain topics Six months uh, uh, on certain topics based on the requirement of the market. Okay, then inadequate state support, legal complexities are there. Proper infrastructure is not there where we can do proper vocational training and all these things. Huge workforce associated with informal sector due to the lack of required education skills, which is not captured. So, skill issues. are on the top skill issues are on the top which has to be catered and that has to be catered only from the starting of the schooling when the person gains some kind of knowledge in various basic skills then they can be taught like from the 8th class 9th class they should be get they should be provided skills in various uh, things okay so the syllabus taught as i taught syllabus taught in the schools and colleges being not as per the current requirement of the industries i would say is saying only 25% graduate employed uh, i would say only 5% are employable with proper skill Ninety-five percent who holds a graduation degree. I, I was once I I was reading a newspaper. I think that was the uh, Express only. Are not employable because they are not industry ready. They are not industry ready. Okay. So the syllabus taught in the schools and colleges being not as per the current requirement. So whatever industries are requiring, they are not having that kind of skills. and the and the schools and colleges are finding it difficult to change their curriculum they, they just wanted to work on the traditional way only whatever they were teaching a 50 years ago now now also they wanted to go with that only but you will be forced to change it because slowly slowly the value of the degree will be lost and it is getting lost the value of degree is getting lost the value of a skill is getting increased if you have a skill industry will automatically take you from anywhere wherever you are you just show them like i have this skill i can perform this task i will take that job the industry will take your interview and if they are finding it suitable then they will take you because industry people need people but they wanted that they do not have to train that person because training that person again will will give a uh, will be a huge cost to a company so if if the person is already getting skilled in that sector automatically he will be directly employed he will not require he or she will not require any kind of training right 
then there was a low investment in the manufacturing sector because this manufacturing sector is the main sector where most of the people are employed and that's why they are restricting the employment potential of the secondary sector okay from the agriculture if we wanted to move the people to the uh, from the primary sector if we wanted to move people to the secondary sector they need skills that is why the disguised employment is increasing in the primary sector just because they are not having a skill to move on to the manufacturing sector right then we have a very low productivity of the agriculture sector and people are not having alternative opportunities again why they do not have uh, opportunities because they lack skills okay they lack skills right then social norms are there women are not allowed to work women should not go out of the home women are good for homework only men should go out okay and all these things are the social norms okay which slowly slowly are now breaking and that is good for our economy right okay now impact of unemployment what is the impact of unemployment first is because of unemployment there is a huge kind of poverty okay there is a huge kind of poverty that is happening okay just let me have some water just one minute guys some technical error has just one minute I think uh, you can see right uh, everybody can see right because some screen uh, got issues over here just let me know please guys uh can you see guys uh, the screen right okay now you yes 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 you got it it is fine okay so impact of unemployment because of unemployment poverty is there okay because of unemployment youth people indulge in various illegal and wrong activities for earning money this also leads to increase in the crime in our country okay it is often said that unemployed person end up getting addicted to drugs alcohol attempted to suicides okay leading losses to the human resource to our country okay then it also affects economy of a country as a workforce that could have been gainfully employed and the resource actually get dependent so too much of resource are getting dependent on few peoples okay the socio economic cost of uh, uh, economic uh, cost of uh, state for instance 1% increases and employment reduces gdp by 2% so these are some of the effects of the impacts of the unemployment okay what are the evils of unemployment evils what happens evils of unemployment are it waste precious human resource make people hopeless victim of depressions okay it creates economic overload it creates economic overload over the person who is already working and the people getting dependent on the various people this is a situation where a small percentage of employed population support a large percentage of unemployed people okay because if few people are working 
and uh, two the, like if for if there is a 10% in a family and two are working that means they have to take care of the total eight people extra and even in under that 10 people if four can still work and still they are not helping that means it is creating a burden on the other two for that so they, this is like a economic uh, uh, loss that is happening to our con uh, country it health it is because of that deterioration in the health and the quality of life is also happening parents unwillingly withdraw their children from the school so that because they wanted the support and they cannot afford the education due to unemployment that is why government has done everything free and it negatively impacts on a overall economic activity of a nation uh, I were uh, uh, regarding your question uh, see farmers are whether employed or unemployed there is a different criteria that has to be followed by the government to look forward like whether they are employed or unemployed and based on the type of farms they are having the times of pro the, the quantity of production they are doing and uh, like uh, that like if they are following all the proper uh, documentation like how many people are there in their farmland uh, what is the salary they are getting so all these things uh, we have to check uh, where if the proper uh, documentation of the work is going on that that way we can consider them as employed okay so it depends on the documentation work and the record keeping work then only we can say that somebody is employed or somebody is unemployed even if i am working somewhere okay i am getting a good amount of money but my name is not there in any of the records or anything okay so i will be considered as unemployed only right i hope you got it now what are the steps that has been taken by government? The government has taken many steps towards uh, the unemployment issue. First of all is the Integrated Rural Development Program that was launched in 1980s. The main thing is that to create full employment by utilizing the various type of things that are there in the rural areas and uh, providing employment to the rural people. Then there was a Trisim that is training for rural youth for self-employment. So here we are calling the people for their self-employment. Government will provide the support between the age of 18 to 35. Here uh, most of the uh, uh, priority is given to SCST youths and the women. Then we have a rescue and rudisty which the aim of mitigating uh, uh, unemployment problem amongst the youth. So the new initiative was tried jointly by the Shri Dharmasthala uh, Manjunateshwara Educational Trust and the Syndicate Bank and the Canara Bank, uh, they have set up a Rural Development and Self-Employment Training Institute, which is acronym as Rutseti near Dharamshala in Karnataka. Rural Self-Employment Training Institute, RSCITS, are now managed by the bank with active cooperation from the government of India and the state government. Okay. Then, there are various schemes like uh, merger uh, merger of the two schemes that is National Rural Employment Program, Rural Landless Employment Guarantee Scheme and Jawahar Rojgar Yojana was started with the effect from April 1. Uh, the cost sharing is 80 to 20 sharing basis. Lots of schemes are there. Government has done like Manrega is there. Okay. That has been launched in 2005 where we are providing a security guarantee of work of 100 days. 100 days guarantee work. And like if you file... Uh, like I need work like if you file uh, like in the 1st of April that I need work so within 15 days within 15 days the government has to provide you with a work and within 15 days are not able to provide you will get unemployment allowance you will get unemployment allowance okay Paid worker, 100 days of paid work. So this is called right to work, right to work. Then Pradhan Mantri Kaushal Vikas Yojana, very important scheme that has been launched in 2015. Kaushal Vikas Yojana, skill training. Kaushal means skill training, okay. Objective to enable a large number of Indian youths to take up the industry relevant skill training and with, will help them in securing a better livelihood, okay. Then Startup India, 2016. System to nurture the entrepreneurs, 
throughout the country they can come with various ideas and they can uh, uh, take the take the loans from the government in order to nurture their ideas and they can uh, build an industry on that then stand up india uh, to facilitate the bank loan between 10 lakh to 1 crore okay Uh, and at least uh, we have to provide uh, uh, one sc or st borrower and one woman borrower per bank branch whatever wherever the bank branch is there at least one uh, scheduled caste one scheduled tribe or any one of them or at least one woman worker uh, one uh, woman has to be given a loan under the stand up india scheme okay for setting up of greenfield enterprises greenfield means from the scratch from the scratch brownfield means some structure is there and you are just converting them into a production unit okay then what are the effects of unemployment what are the effects of unemployment the the impact of unemployment can be felt by both workers at the national economy and it can cause a ripple a ripple effect one industry may affect the other other may affect the other and this is called like a ripple effect that can happen unemployment causes worker to suffer financial hardship families will be getting impacted relationship communities when it happens consumer spendings which is one of the economic key driver goes down so because whenever there is economic growth people are consuming and they are spending once the uh, when uh, like during the pandemic time what has happened during the covid 19 pandemic all of sudden the industries went down people have very less cash in their hand they are not able to provide uh, they are not uh, uh, like uh, buying the things they are not uh, consuming the things so because of that the other industries there was a layoff that has happened they are removing the people from the company because the demand has got decreased so that is why government has come with 20 lakh uh, uh, crore package government has asked rbi to reduce interest rate government has asked to provide moratorium for 2 to 3 months okay in order to increase the consumption okay unemployment result in the reduced demands consumption and buying power which in turn causes lower profit for businesses and because of this lower profit for business businesses cut their budget and when the business cut their budget first one to cut in the budget is the workforce remove some people from the workforce that much of money will be saved so it creates a cycle that goes on and on and it is difficult to reverse that cycle without the proper intervention we can provide okay so it is a ripple effect consumer uh, unemployment unemployment people are not getting jobs that is why because of that people are not uh, consum uh, not doing proper consumption consumption is not happening industries will not uh, produce more one once the industry will not produce more industry will cut down their budgets how they will cut the budgets they will uh, lay off the people they will remove the people from the jobs again more and more employ unemployment will be created okay so there are number so what is the like way forward so there are number of labor intensive manufacturing sector in india like we have a huge food processing leather footwear wood uh, manufacture furniture textile and various other apparels and garments uh, are, are there like uh, government has launched pli production link incentives pli like the amount of the more and more amount of you produce the more and more incentive you will get from the government okay so special packages individually designed for each industries are needed to create jobs public investment we require in health education power, police judiciary can create many government jobs can be created we can decentralize industries so that we do privatization of these jobs and because it is really really very necessary so that people of every region can get jobs in a proper way okay development of the rural area will help like uh, we have to make sure that uh, the proper development of the rural area should happen because people should get the jobs on their home location only because nobody wanted to move out of their homes okay so because the because the cost becomes less for the people if they get the jobs in their places they are happy with the even if it, even if they wanted to work for a little less salary they will work but if they are getting a job at their home place 
okay so development of the rural area will help mitigate the migration because if the migration is happening uh, uh, to, uh, the cities will get bombarded with too much of population and it will increase the crime and all those things over there because uh, there is a huge divide between the uh, riches and the poorers and it happens like that okay then entrepreneurs generate employment to many in a country therefore government needs to encourage entrepreneurship among the youths concrete measure aimed at removing the social barrier has to be made for women's entry women uh, make sure that you have to pro make a proper concrete uh, like make sure that proper high level measures you are taking to remove the social barriers okay because women's entry is needed in order to have a proper job market you wanted to create government need to keep a strict watch on the education system because we need proper skilled labor force so that we do not have to because if we are not creating proper skill force we are spending two to three times on the same person the thing can happen in the first time only you spend a per, you spend some uh, uh, good skill training you provide some good skill training in the starting only so that you you save the money for the next two times okay first what we do is we provide education then we provide some graduation okay after that we are giving uh, the training on the skill also okay so in the starting only if you are providing the skills there is no need for the proper other things that has to be provided okay because the industry need the skilled people okay so we need to make sure that a skilled workforce comes out from the colleges the effect uh, effective implementation of the present program make in india skill india startup india stand up india all things should happen we need a proper national employment policy that would encompass a set of multi dimensional intervention covering a whole range of socio economic issues affecting many policy spheres and not just the area of labor and employment the policy should be critical tool because we need to reach a goal of 2030 sustainable development goals okay and we need to make sure that we achieve that goal by 2030 in a proper way okay then the underlying principle of the new employment policy may include like we have to in enhance the human capital by skill development create sufficient number of decent quality jobs decent quality jobs informal sector should be made in a uh, formal and informal sector to absorb those people who are available and willing to work we have to strengthen the social cohesion that is happening coherence and convergence in various initiative that has been taken by the government government has to make sure that uh, whatever schemes whatever things they are running they should work in tandem like it is not like that one thing is running other thing is running is this way so we have to make sure that all things should be working in a integrated way then supporting the private sector to become a major investor in these places supporting the self employed person by strengthening their capabilities to improve their earnings then ensuring employee basic rights and developing an educational training and skill development center and new education policy 2020 is a way forward under this because from the basics only everything starts because every time whenever we have a problem we move on to the basics only because from the basics only the things get solved right and the basic is proper schooling system in our country okay so guys uh, we have reached to our last hour lecture now i just wanted like if you have any kind of question please ask anybody has any kind of questions please ask guys anybody has any kind of question to ask okay guys uh, i hope everybody has got the concept and everybody has understood uh, what i have said so i will be meeting you at uh, 9 pm again yes all the aspects are covered yes all the aspects are covered and uh, we have talked about uh, in a multi dimensional way okay so this is the way uh, you have to just keep this thing in mind 
make a short notes of it because normally whenever you go and talk with someone uh, this kind of data comes to your mind okay what is unemployment somebody asks you what is unemployment you should know what is unemployment okay right so 9 pm we will be working with 9 uh, we will be working on 94th lecture today 94th lecture today uh, on the 100 day series and uh, i will be seeing you at 9 pm and i think uh, we will be discussing economic survey chapter number 3 okay today i think it is on external sector today it will be on external sector okay we will be discussing on that so sure? thank you so much guys thank you so much for uh, listening and if any question is there uh, you can uh, ask me thank you so much guys bye bye take care and i'll be seeing you at 9 pm again thank you so much